what's up you guys hey so today we're gonna be doing the summer walker album cover makeup tutorial over it if you haven't heard her album i'm over it so i'm gonna start off with foundations i'm gonna try the anastasia beverly hills one so let's see i do like to mix all my foundations with this charlotte tilbury flawless filter it gives me a beautiful glow from within every time and the shade i'm using is in the color six the anastasia is 440c Oh, this looks like a good shade. Yo, that's crazy. And you know what's funny? I didn't even like swatch it or anything. To blend that out, I'm gonna use my Skin Perfecting Brush from It Cosmetics. Yo, this is dead as my shade. <gasps> I'm so happy. But this right here is overrated over wow i really like it finally i don't gotta mix anything i thought my camera was recording while i did this but like i said i was watching jackie ina's makeup tutorial last night and she applied the foundation before blending it she sprayed her setting spray on top of it and then she starts to blend it out so that's what we're doing right now let me tell you about a crazy ass another crazy client at work <laughs> oh i'm using my born this way multi-use concealer in warm sand this is honestly my favorite concealer in the game right now Too Faced sponsor me i use and promote and show that i use this all the time this is my favorite concealer and i even bought a whole bunch for my kit because that's how much i love it and all of my clients deserve to look hella good okay so yeah at sephora you have permission to sit at the studio if it isn't busy sit in the mirror and you can do your makeup you know on your own which is cool so this guy comes in i don't see him at all uh, my co-worker says it over the walkie she's like okay there's a dude here um at the studio with his shoes off and he's just like what's going on here so then i peek over bro this dude has the most craziest mess at the studio. Mind you, the studio is white or clean. And this fool is putting on like blue dye on his hair. He has no gloves. He's just going straight into the jar. And I'm just like, what the fudge? One of my managers and my coworker go over to him trying to like stop him. Like I go follow too to see what happens. Yo, this guy was so crazy. When I went to go see what my coworker was gonna go say to him, she was like, she was like, um, excuse me, you you can't do that. The way this man turned around and looked at my coworker, <laughs> yo, my coworker got so shook. And so did I. I just started walking backwards, like, oh hell no. This month, yo, she said, excuse me, sir, you can't do that. And he's looking in the mirror and he turns and looks, he turns and looks at her like this. Yo, she started stuttering. She's like, you can't do that. You can't do that. And then I guess since my coworker told him, since he wasn't allowed to do that stuff, he was getting ready to leave. He felt some type of way. And when he was leaving, this dude slammed like a drink on the floor and he just made a whole complete mess. And the poor cleaning lady and my job had to clean that shit. And I'm like, yo, that is so up. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. This shirt is so annoying. I bought this at Pretty Little Thing. How are you supposed to wear this shirt? Cause I even tried wearing it without a bra and my nipples pop out. Like it didn't look like that on the website. Everything was nicely covered on the website. And then when I get it, I'm like, yo. Why the f did I blend out my concealer first? I usually blend out my goddamn contour first to brighten underneath the eye i'm gonna use my another born this way concealer in natural beige to face sponsor me <laughs> let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you i had a lovely client 
so we're chatting it up while I'm prepping her skin. And then this woman goes and tells me, I haven't showered in seven days. Yep, seven whole days. She said, you know, I was gonna do it today, but I didn't have any time, so whoop. I was like, what? You know, sometimes you can skip one day, but seven? Bruh, seven. Mind you, I was doing her makeup because she was going on a date with her man. What in the f seven days? Mira, esa tiene que tener un bajo a culo, man. Holy sh! I'm gonna set my under eyes with my hourglass veil setting powder, and this is the Real Techniques setting brush. Oh my god! Let me tell y'all what happened the other day. Or not even the other day. It's probably like a few weeks ago or something like that. So I see Cardi B's sister Hennessy. She's on live, and someone's doing her makeup. So I'm like, oh, shit, I'm watching this. And then while I keep watching it, I realize that it's Juvia's place that's doing her makeup. Like I'm watching the video, I'm reading the comments and a lot of people are just bashing, like going hard, just saying a lot of mean things. I said, damn, like so many people have so many negative things to say, just let her do her thing. Some girl goes, some girl goes, shut up Buddha. Um, it's not her thing. That's the thing. I'm like, what? The f My Instagram name is Buddha Baby. I really didn't understand. To the point that I didn't even know how to come at her. Cause I'm like, what? Like, what does that even mean? So I'm like, you know what? Like be the bigger person, ignore it, whatever. But then I get so mad. And I was just like, bitch, shut the f up. Shut the f up. The other day, let me show you what this guy says on my YouTube, which I find very, very odd. This this was commented on my Fashion Over Try On haul. This guy goes, laughing emoji, shaking my head. I know my girl hates black girls, but the girl in a illiterate ass in a video, pretty doe. D-O-E, no cap, heart 100 emoji. What bugs me out is that this dude came onto my channel, left a very disrespectful, racist comment under my video. When I try to get back and say something slick, say something in Spanish, because listen, we're all black, we're all related in some way, but I'm Dominican, I'm 100% Dominican. So I posted on my story, I'm like, hmm, what should I say to this illiterate ass Everybody was like, curse them out in Spanish, curse them out in Spanish. I'm trying to go off and the YouTube is not letting me. They keep deleting my comments. I'm like, oh, but you can keep this racist ass comment under my video, but you can't let me defend myself. So what did I have to do? Block and delete. Wow. I have to stop doing this video because I have to um, settle something that I'm going to be talking about when I come back because I'll be right back. Someone's knocking on the door and I gotta get, I gotta do what I gotta do, hold on. Okay, I'm back now. So this bronzer is an Anastasia Beverly Hills one in mahogany. Ooh, you hit my stomach. I'm about to take a break and eat some food. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy bronzer. But what I was talking about, that has to like grown up Geico could suck my This is my first time dealing with like car insurance. They do something without your permission and then they expect you to have the answers to solve that problem but if i don't have the information to solve that problem because i didn't give them the consent to do anything they didn't give me no type of information i'm asking why 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 and they're just like oh but that's all we see in the system that they're just not gonna renew your insurance and i'm just like F you geico seriously I'm going to highlight with my Champagne Pop um, highlighter. I got a little mini one. So cute. But before I do that, sh I'm going to set. I really forgot how pretty this highlight is. This is gorgeous. Vagina. So you guys, I came to terms. And now I understand, you know, all my issues, all my anger, you know. I think I have daddy issues. Mm-hmm. I think I have daddy issues. 
The reason why I believe this is because I'm gonna use a blush from Milan because I saw one of my friends, well, one of my brother's friends, you know, just scrolling and stuff. And I saw that he took his daughter to get her um, toes done and he was getting his toes done too. Yo, I was, yo, I looked at that picture and I was like, damn, yo, I wish I had that. I appreciate my mom and I love her for being both mom and dad, but it's just like, damn i wish i had you know like that father role model to you know do those things with me because or like yeah i have brothers but they kind of don't see me as a little girl anymore they just see me as a grown-ass bitch and they're not gonna be like hey d come on let's get our pedicures done you know they have their daughters they have their they have their sons and you know, when you grow up, people forget about you. <laughs> but it's okay. I will survive. Alright, so I'm going to challenge myself. I'm only going to use uh, one palette. This is the Anastasia Alyssa Edwards. Let's see if I could do it or whatever. That's all you got here. I'm going to go in with Texas Made with a Morphe M433 brush. I like this pink a lot. Wow, this palette is pigmented as hell. I'm gonna blend that out with a clean brush. I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm using another Too Faced concealer in seashell. Too Faced. I'm gonna blend that out and then I'm gonna mix that I'm gonna use that same pink but I'm gonna mix it with the white to make it a little bit like a pastel pink so just watch me next shade I'm gonna take is that same white headliner and I'm gonna pop this into the inner corners Some of that pink on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Jet Eyeliner. Yo, lately, um, I've been looking at. I don't know if you guys have seen any of those like zodiac sign videos where they give you the reading, tarot cards, and all that stuff. It's really fun. Like, it's really interesting. I don't want to say too much because I don't want anybody to ruin it. But mine was okay. I just have to stay patient, positive, work my ass off. I will honestly see a lot of recognitions on the things that I've been working on and it is going to pay off but not at the very not at this very moment, not exactly at 2020. And honestly hearing that that gave me a relief because I'm just here like 2020, I really got to do this, I really got to do that. But not but not in a way saying that I have to start everything that I want to do in 2020 like I'm already doing like what I want to do in life I just got to keep working at it but it's just gonna take a little time for me to actually see my dreams come true and I'm glad that I did hear this because I said I always promised this shit to myself that Sephora is gonna be the last job that I work at because I don't want to work for anybody anymore like like I really wanted, I just want to be my own boss. And there's probably a reason why it didn't happen this year is because I'm just probably not prepared for it. I don't know what comes with being your own entrepreneur. Like it's really hard. It isn't hard, it's just overwhelming. I was scared. I was always scared like when I think about, oh, I'm going to do this and I don't want to work for Sephora anymore. Like I'm ready to do this, I'm ready. But I was so scared. Now, each and every day, I, I feel that fear leaving my body and each and every day like I just want to get closer to the things that I'm gonna do a little baby wing because I can't help it yeah each and every day I'm less afraid like I just want to 
go for it like i want it to happen bro i really do i want to be booked and busy booked and busy booked and busy with my freelance business with my lash business i just got i got certified to do lashes and everything it's honestly no joke and it's real and i just can't wait to get started i have other projects that you know i'm working on too you know my followers have been noticing that i've been like a bit more consistent when it comes to my videos well like my followers on instagram on instagram i say when i'm filming so if you feel like i'm going a little bit mia on youtube just follow me on instagram like i announce when i'm filming when i'm about to upload okay so this is the finished eye my mist lashes in pm29 i get these from the beauty supply on the lips i use charlotte tilbury's walk of shame to give me the rosiness to neutralize it to make it a little bit more peachy i use my huda beauty liquid lipstick in bombshell to give it the gloss i use my Fenty beauty lip gloss in fussy so i'm just gonna throw on like a couple accessories and i also bought some do-rags okay let me look at the picture because i don't know how to do this like a little flap going on there but it's like why you can't see okay there we go damn all right i completely forgot one thing she does have like a little piercing right here oh my god there i did a good job i did a good job like i'm over it bitch i did a good job right okay guys so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do anything else. Any requests for new videos. Like I said, I am on my sh**. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a beautiful comment, positive comment down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank